Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are in San Francisco at Zora Subscribe 2017, about 2,000 people talking about the subscription economy. But what I liked is when Teen had some uh, sample stories up, he went with the big iron. He went with GE and he went with Caterpillar. Uh, companies that you probably don't think of as a subscription economy, like maybe you do Spotify or Amazon Prime. So we're really excited to have Tom Buckler. He's the director of IoT and channel solutions for Caterpillar. Tom, welcome. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. So I love that you had a ton of industrial internet stories. I mean, this is real. This is not like coming down the road, but it's here today. No, absolutely. You know, we've, uh, um, I mentioned during the keynote that since the mid 90s, we've been connecting equipment. Since the mid 90s, we've been on our autonomous journey. Um, and, and you know, it's just today we, we can talk about the largest industrial fleets of over 500,000 assets connected, all of that valuable information coming in to help our customers, and then the fully autonomous fleets in the mines. It's, it's pretty exciting stuff. Right, I mean, you, and you touched on something we talk about often in the context of GE. We've had GE on a number yeah. of times where you know, does GE sell engines or do they sell propulsion to the yep. airlines? And you talked about do we sell you know, this big earth moving equipment or do we sell X number, I don't even know how you measure big giant masses of, yeah. of, of rock and gravel move, but really selling it as a service, not necessarily just the truck. Yeah, I think that you know that was an important part of our discussion because when we talk about IoT and digital, it's it's really a very customer centric strategy. So we're going to get into services like IoT type or digital based services, which is our our Cat Connect portfolio. If it's going to help serve our customers that we have today in the industries we play, be more successful, increase their operations, increase their efficiency. So we're not looking to, to build a platform or be a software company. Right. You know, when we get into this space, it's it's focused on those customers and increasing their profitability, and that's what leads us into these areas. Uh, we're, we're going to be a heavy equipment manufacturer. We're going to sell big iron. That's what we do. We're going to leverage digital to help our customers be more successful. Yeah, you say that, but I'm telling you, I can I can turn the lens a little bit. I see a whole lot of software company uh, behind that big iron. So the, no, I'm not. The, you know, in, there's there's a, there's a lot of software on those machines. You're right. You right. know, there is a lot of software that, that's coming off those machines, and and certainly we want to take all of that information. We want to put analytics on it, and we want to help our customers go from being reactive to predictive. Right. And and really, that's why we're at this conference, right? Because because when you get to what we call our Cat Connect services, um, a lot of those are subscription based. You know, when, when we're connecting a, a you know 500,000 machines, or we're we're able to go out and you know um, enable grade assist on a machine over the air, or we're going to have these predictive health uh, uh, services uh, to make sure uptime is maximized. All of those are data driven services through Cat Connect, and they're all subscriptions. Right. So it's a natural fit for us to to, to migrate into that uh, along with our our, our product business. Yes, yeah, just interesting numbers that you shared in the keynote. 500,000 connected machines. You talked about you know the obvious stuff, no unplanned, unplanned downtime. These are huge assets that need to run as close to 24 seven as they predictably can. But then you mentioned just looking at some other data and not even really heavy lifting data, but customers are getting tremendous utilization gains right. by leveraging some of the software that you guys have incorporated into the machines. Yeah, it, it's powerful stuff. I mean, if I talk about construction, uh, you know, the, the, the customer we mentioned is, uh, they asked us to connect all 16,000 pieces of their equipment. You know, 3,000 of those were CAT earth moving machines. You know, the other 13,000 weren't. They were a variety of other types of machines. But what the customer, with that information, and when they can get put it on one screen, and they can look at utilization, they can look at location, they can look at idle time, they can increase their utilization significantly. So basic data with a fleet that size can help customers realize 10, almost 20% utilization gains. And across a fleet that size, it's, it's big money. Right. And it's big customer value. Uh, but even all the way down to the person who's got 10 machines. Uh, you know, they can start to look at idle time, they can look at uh, you know, operator abuse and how, you know, where they can uh, train their operators better to perform better. Uh, so, so basic information off some of these machines is very valuable. It's such, it's such an interesting concept because you keep talking about your customers doing better with the assets that you guys provide them. You know, when you're in a subscription relationship and you have this ongoing back and forth repetitive connection, it's a very different relationship than when you just sell something and you ship it and you take the money and you go on to the other one. And it seems like that's really kind of the secret sauce of the subscription economy that not enough people really highlight. Yeah, you know, in, in some cases, that, that's a great point. And you know, one of the strengths of Caterpillar is, is our, our global dealer network. And, and so you mentioned about selling the product. You know, when, when, when we sell the product, our dealers provide that product and sell it to our customers, they generally have a long-standing relationship with that customer. Everything from helping them with uptime to machine selection to operation to operator training. So we're in the business of, of working with customers through the long haul. 
But to your point, the, these digital services, you know, they, they create a digital relationship that's ongoing along with our dealers relationship that they've had for, for decades. Right. So it, it's, a, it's a really powerful kind of uh, uh, combination. And then I would imagine the data that you're now getting back off these machines, which before, before they were all connected, you know, you, you kind of saw them at the maintenance cycles and you could kind of see, you know, maybe what happened or didn't happen or maybe there's some patterns that are right. geographic or type of job or whatever. But now, you know, I love the, the quote, we used to take a sample of old data and now we take all of current data. It must be tremendous value for you guys to develop better products, have better maintenance on your own products, see how these things can do much, much better. Yeah, no, I, it, you're, you're absolutely right. And you know, when we talk about the data off the products, a lot of people initially go to telematics. Um, and certainly when we talk about you know, 500,000 assets, we're, I'm talking telematics. But we also do about five million fluid samples a year off different compartments. We've got visual inspections that are on electronically through CAT Inspect, that's all the data coming back. So all of that information is really rich information. And to your point, we can take that all the way back to new product design and, and make sure that our next products are, are optimized. Pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And who doesn't love a big yellow tractor truck? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, All right, Tom. Well, thanks for uh, yeah. taking a few minutes out of your busy day, and congratulations. All right, thanks for having me. All right, he's Tom Buckler. I'm Jeff Frick. You're watching theCUBE. We'll be back after this short break. Thanks for watching.